What's up, up boozers? Today, we're going to be reviewing Carrie, the 1976 horror film classic. Classic. I liked it. It was remade. Apparently, it has to be that good. It was remade. Or maybe it was that bad that it was remade. I haven't seen the remake. That'll come in a different video. There's this chick, and she's what, first year of high school? Well, she's 17. Okay, so third year of high school. And she's going to And, well, third year of high school. She's junior, senior year. She's just starting her cycle. Which For the is first, the first time, scene, which like is the weird, at thing, a, you know, plug it up, seven, plug it up. They're all doing it. That would never, ever, ever, ever happen in real life. No, no one would ever do that. No. Ever. It doesn't matter how much you hate someone in high yeah, school. Yeah, exactly. Or think that someone's you come to say to someone, say, "I started my period." They, you know, discreetly pass you a tampon or a pack. Or they tell you where you can go to get one. They exactly. don't sit there and throw tampons at People you. People are not that mean. Well, even if they are. It's a period. Yeah, that's and something we all deal with. And they know how horrifically sheltered she is. Right. So they're going to point her to someone else to deal with her problem. Granted, I wasn't around in the 70s, but I can guarantee the girls are bitchier now than they were then. <laughs> boobs Opening five and minutes. bush. Boobs in the bush all Premature over the place. Premature boobs in bush. The best kind. There you go. Because we like him young. <laughs> So as you can probably already guess, it falls around Carrie, 17-year-old Carrie. Her mom is crazy, ridiculously religious. She is a single mother who locks her into a cabinet every time she thinks that Carrie has sinned in any way and act. tells her to beg for forgiveness from God. And the mother is just, she's psychotic. She has a lot of mental issues that have gone undiagnosed. You can definitely tell that in the film. Eventually, a girl named Sue and her boyfriend named Tommy, um, who are among the popular kids, kind of simmer down a little bit, realize how terrible of a life Carrie has and how awful people are to her. So they kind of develop a plan to not make her popular, but make her feel like she's accepted. She's accepted. She makes, they basically turn into friends. Um... Billy and Chris here are the worst of them. They're also super popular. Billy is the boyfriend of Chris, female. She was the person that made fun of Carrie when Carrie was having her period and made all the other girls laugh and throw the tampons and pads at her saying, plug it up. So all the girls get in trouble through their teacher. They all get in trouble and they're physically exhausted um, as part of their punishment. And she tells Chris that Chris is not able to attend the prom anymore. Which, if you've ever been a teenage girl, hmm, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm, to not pay back, but get back at Carrie. Um, she and her boyfriend slaughter a bunch of pigs. Go to a farm, slaughter a bunch of pigs. Super nice, you know, because we love, you know, animal cruelty. Animal cruelty is the best. Kind. As a vegan, I highly support the reasonless torture and murder of animals. As a amazing bacon consumer, <laughs> I don't support the torture of animals. At prom, she has this blood dumped on her after she's crowned queen. Best moment of her life. She's happy. Pigs blood everywhere. People start laughing. She locks the doors of the gym. Kills everybody. Only person to survive is Sue. And Sue is basically suffering from PTSD from that day afterwards. Going into this day that I think it was pretty, pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. It was hardcore. really, it was Definitely really hardcore. hardcore. Yes, yes. Super metal brawl. I feel that this film is definitely a classic worth watching. It's not just ridiculous amounts of red goo coming out of buckets, drenching people, you know, like a lot of old horror films are. There is a lot of psychosis going on there within There is. It. The emotional trauma trauma within the film is very well done. You see that she's obviously insane at fault of her mother, and then obviously insane at fault of her peers, and that all of this collides into this massive chaos, which happens to most teenagers, but as many times as I wanted to murder everyone in my high school, I didn't do it. <laughs> I got better shit to do. Good for you. 
It's one of those films that sticks with you. Kind of reminisce about your own high school experience. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what kid you were. If you're the popular kid, the not popular kid, the emo kid, the loser, the nerd, the jock. It doesn't matter who you were. Everyone sees it from certain perspectives. And I think that's what's so unique about it is everyone can relate to this movie. <laughs> they understand the whole issue of the junior and senior year. It's super At least complicated people... and super emotional and definitely the most stressful years of high school. Sippy, sippy. <sighs> um, very tragic ending, very tragic character in general. Um, Brings a lot of emotions. Harry. Sure. Uh -huh. I think it was really well done. Um, not a whole lot to touch on here that other people haven't done already. Very well, well conveyed. Uh, no idea. To the point. No idea why they remade it. IMDb gave this movie a 7.4 out of 10, and I have to say that that is like right on par with where I would go. I give it like a 7 out of 10. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 as well. The telekinesis part, all of that stuff back in the 70s was so much more difficult to do, and it was really well conveyed. Mm hmm Definitely. But maybe it's because we've seen films from, you know, this year. It's like, it could have been so much more. Yeah. But we have yet to watch and or review the remake, so we'll see what happens with that one. As always, like, subscribe, comment, down below, all of the links to our social media. All of the goodness is right down here, right below down the camera. Mm -hmm. You want part of the good stuff? Get below the camera. Mm -hmm. And as always, stay awesome and keep boozing. And keep we'll boozing. see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.